Hello everybody, it's Itemog217, and today we have a bag full of CMFs. Uh, stay tuned to find out more. So in today's video, we are going to be uh, opening up 36 of these LEGO minifigures Series 25 blind boxes that I picked up at my local Toys R Us. I opened a brand new case that was just from the shipping uh, box and they wouldn't let me keep the box but they did let me just buy all the CMS so this is essentially a full box just without the box uh so yeah we're just gonna be opening these in random order there's 12 to collect they release officially on September the 1st there is set number 71045 and uh yeah go figures to collect hopefully we'll get the the sacred goat figure that everyone's looking for. So yeah, if you do go on to enjoy this video please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Let's jump right into it. So yeah, Lego decided to change two boxes uh, last year with the Marvel Series 2 CMFs. And uh, yeah, this just kind of going to become the norm for a little bit, I guess, until Lego decides to change their mind if they do. So this is how you traditionally open a CMF box with our first one here. Our first figure is... Who is that? Is that the train kid or something? Yeah. Alrighty, cool. Our first pull is the train kid. Uh, I really like that they kept going with the whole wearable vehicle costumes thing that they're doing with these CMS. It's very cool. And I'm also hoping that we'll get different colors of this train costume mold and like build a minifigures at Lego stores. Because green, it's not exactly my favorite color, but still, it's pretty cool. It's a nice train color. Uh, you do have a little dish piece that has a printed 25 on it. And you do get some extras. Uh, when you even get an extra one of those, so and if you want to make a little train mock or something, you can with that. But uh, yeah, uh, this has some pieces to it, so let's separate the two so that we can have a better look at both of these. And even now that we've removed the train little thing, you can see they are on some skateboard wheels, so you can move it back and forth. And uh, it's just the two clip attachments, as the third wheel is not actually a wheel it's just kind of molded on there you can kind of see there's a bit of a size difference it's a little smaller that's fine uh you also have a brick built smokestack as well as a tile at the top here again it would be really cool to get this in another color in a bam uh wall or something like that but overall this is cool i like this i like this little trend of little wearable costumes taking a closer look at the actual minifigure though he's got like a little train conductor kind of outfit going on or just a steam engine guy again i don't know much about trains feel free to correct me in the comment section down below what this guy looks like but it's definitely a train looking attire uh he reuses the newspaper boys cap piece in a sand blue which is nice and uh, removing that you can take a better look at the facial print which uh he's wearing some glasses and has an eye patch not something i didn't know existed out in the world but it's still kind of cool now that i see it in person like an a glasses and an eye patch. I don't know. There's something cool about it to me. Just how that looks. So I like that. That's cool. No actual accessories, unfortunately, but that's fine. With this little piece, it's cool enough. So let's move on to our next pack. Alrighty, second pack. Hopefully, no duplicates. Uh, again, it's very possible. Full box is 36 packs, like we're opening up today. So we will get some extra. Oh my goodness! Second pack. How about that? We got it, guys. It's the goat. We did it. Pack it up. We're heading home. Alrighty, here it is. The goat. The one minifigure everyone is going to be going nuts for with this series. You have the goat herd figure. Uh, with the first time for in, like, years. I don't actually know what set specifically this came in. I know that the original goat was different. It had some spots on it. And the goat was, like, going for, like, $100 before this was even revealed as a thing. Like, that was the peak price. I think this is, like, a whole new mold, because I think I read an article somewhere that the goat mold is actually lighter than the older one a little bit, as well as the fact it doesn't have the spots on it, which is okay. Got to keep the original exclusive to some degree, and that's fine. But I think people just really like the goat, and honestly, it's cool. Yeah, I like it. It's a nice little goat thing, and I can definitely see a lot of people who have farms or whatever wanting to get this figure specifically just for that. It, it's something so silly, but it's also understandable why this is so desirable it's funny as for the goat herder minifigure uh he has some nice detailing definitely castle era uh so he has dual molded legs with a little uh, little pouch print on it right there as well as a little patch 
uh, print on the arm. That's nice. He's got a little walking stick. I'm not quite sure what this circular tile is meant to represent. I'm thinking a cookie or something like that. Maybe some seeds. I don't know. That's just my initial thoughts. He does have a little backpack piece that you could probably put that piece in. I don't know what it's for, but whatever. But he does have a double-sided facial expression as well as some back torso printing, which can be revealed when you remove the hood piece. And there it is. Nice. Nice little alternate facial expression and back torso print. Not, not at all that bad of a minifigure, all things considered. Uh, but yeah, this is this is definitely a desirable animal figure. And what better way than in a blind box series? Cool. All right, let's see what else this series has to offer. Okay, third pack. I guess one figure I'm really hoping to get as well is the detective, the classic detective. Oh, I guess we'll get in our next pack. We have the mushroom kid. See here we have the mushroom sprite. I guess that's the official name for that. Uh, only real new pieces with this figure are, I'm assuming, the butterfly print, which honestly looks really cool. Like, when I first saw this, I just saw it on the backside, and I was like, uh, but then when I turned it over and saw the beautiful colors on the butterfly, wow, that's really cool. But yeah, you have a new, uh, hat molded piece of a mushroom cap. It's kind of well executed, and you do have a little hole at the top there if you want to add, like, a feather piece or something like that. So that's cool. Torso's kind of bland, uh, but I get it. Mushroom has, like, a white stem of sorts, and then it's just the top, but... Yeah, and then there is actually dual molded legs on this figure uh, with underneath that skirt piece. So dual molded small legs with white. It's okay. It's kind of an okay figure. Not my favorite, but yeah, let's move on to the next one, I guess, since it's okay. Fourth pack. We're looking for that detective now. That is the mystery is which one will have the detective. Not this one. This one is... Some weird creature. So for our fourth minifigure, you have what's called a harpy. I had to actually look up what the heck a harpy was. And according to Google, it is in Greek and Roman mythology, a harpy is half human, half bird, often believed to be a personification of storm winds. So cool uh, image on screen, I guess, of what a harpy looks like, uh, maybe. So, cool. Uh, definitely an out there type of minifigure. Has some cool wing pieces uh, and some claws. And I definitely like the use of the uh, least this particular leg piece in dark blue with some claws on the, printed on the bottom there. Uh, I'm not quite sure where this hair piece is from off the top of my head, but it is familiar. It is cool we get it in a purple. I always like when we get hair pieces in a odd color. Removing the wings, of course allows you to be able to see the back torso print and yeah definitely a lot of bird-like features with this figure but yeah it's definitely one that's okay it's kind of cool i guess and uh there is an extra piece of a cloth for those wondering yeah not much i'll say about this figure let's move on to our next pack pack number five we're making decent progress so far no extras yet ah i jinxed myself that's an extra train one okay pack six not even going to say anything, just we're hoping for a minifigure. Ooh, what are you? You look like a castle-themed character. So here we have what's called the Vampire Knight. Honestly, this is a really cool figure. The only nitpick I guess I really have is the cape. It's a construction paper material that does come packaged separately in a little cardboard sleeve that's inside the CMF box. And, uh... I'm not a huge fan of these material capes, but I get it why it's cardboard, construction paper, fabric, whatever, because it is red on the inside and then gray on the outside with that weird, cool design of a bat logo, which is the same as the Fright Night CMF's Night uh, Shield, which apparently they're the same faction, but this one's a more uh, classic homage to the original a thing it's based on which is uh image thrown on screen i guess to what the original looks like which is called the fright knights bat lord so pretty cool that they went as far as to remaking this it looks pretty spot on for a modern version of this knight figure even right down to the shield it's really cool and this unique helmet that's a remake looks really cool 
is this another Batman figure, I guess you could argue? I don't know. But let's remove all the gear, which allows us to have a better look at the minifigure along with the uh, head facial printing underneath, which, yeah, definitely getting a lot of vampire vibes off of this guy. Nice back torso printing and arm torso printing, just... A lot of printing, and this is definitely a high-quality figure, and this one definitely stands out the most so far in this series, what we've opened up so far. Like, really kind of cool like this figure. And I like that how the eye holes line up to get that whole red effect, uh, whereas on the other side, it's just kind of... Uh, you can still pull it off, but yeah, really cool stuff. I could definitely see a lot of people trying to army build this figure, and uh, I don't blame them. And for those wondering, you do get an extra little uh, spear head piece, which is used to make up the axe uh, with this CMF. Anywho, let's move on to our next pack. The seventh pack, only one extra. We want that detective figure, guys. But I guess we're going to have to settle for a barbarian figure. Here is the fierce barbarian figure, which looks not bad. I like that they're using dual molded legs with a lot of these cmfs definitely makes you feel like you're getting a little bit of your value here with the arm printing as well as the dual molded leg printing uh yeah really cool i do also like that we got the lego dreams izzy's sword in a new molded piece because this is a dual molded sword so you get a gunmetal gray as well as a flat silver going on here so that's really cool you do have a new unique hair piece which i could see being used uh in viking sets i guess down the line uh removing the hair piece you can see that the figure does have a double-sided facial expression as well as some back torso printing no other accessories of that sort unfortunately but still a decent minifigure nonetheless yeah not much to say let's move on to the next one pack number eight here we go do we have it nah oh this is the dog groomer yeah, it's a dog groomer. Sorry, it's actually the dog groomer is the name of this minifigure. And uh, yeah, I like when Lego goes and makes new dog molds because I know there's people around the world who have different breeds of dogs. I personally am waiting for them to make a Pomeranian dog. I would go nuts if Lego made a Pomeranian mold, but here I am waiting. But yeah, I don't know what breed this is. Uh, it That's what it is above. So cool, new dog mold like that. Uh, pet groomer looks nice it's got some leg printing and just an apron and some scissors to trim the dog uh, and also this hair piece is new and I don't know what this device is again editor team can help save the day on what that is and what it does but it's cool it's got some nice dual molding it's not bad I like it it's uh got a nice look to it I don't know what it does but pretty sure it Help someone in some way. <laughs> Anywho, uh, yeah, double-sided facial expression, a little bit of back torso printing, but yeah, this one's a little bit more on the eh side because you're just getting it for the dog figure, I feel. And uh, yeah, he do also get an extra pair of scissors to this figure. So yeah, not much I'll say. Moving on. Pack nine out of 36. Come on, give us a new fig. Ah, we got a duplicate. It's the mushroom kid. Alrighty, pack 10. Please, no more duplicates. Ah, what the heck. Oh, nice. A goat figure. Nice. Pack 11. Do you think we'll be lucky enough to get the goat a third time? Let's find out. I'm... I swear I was joking. I swear I was joking. That's cool. Wow, okay. <laughs> Pack 12. I, I don't think we're going to get any more goats in this unboxing, but that was pretty funny. Uh, ooh. This one's new. Who do is this? Oh, some sort of fitness character. Cool. Here is the fitness instructor. Definitely getting that fitness vibe off of this minifigure. Only complaint I have is the exposed waist area is not matching the print with the arms and legs. It's kind of an off orangey color compared to a yellow color, which is unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, there's the sport thing on there, and there's a little logo right there on the waist uh, for the pants. That's pretty cool. Dual mode legs, that's always a plus, as well as a tattoo on the arm. I like that. That's cool. You do get, I'm assuming, is a new variant of a Vita Rush cylinder brick, which is nice. And you have a 10-pound, I'm assuming, weight, which is a nice printed ball piece. And uh, 
nice assembly there. You have this hairpiece in blonde, which I don't think is the first time it's come in blonde, but I could be wrong. But anywho, it does have a double-sided facial expression with a much more determined look. Overall, really cool. And as for the extras, you do get an extra white piece as well as a black piece. So, yeah, not much to say about this figure. Let's move on to the next one. Party pack 13. We almost have a full series, so there's just a handful more that we are missing and this is not one of them that's another train kid cool Alrighty, that should be the last of the train kids as we're on to pack 14 what do we have oh that's another barbarian starting to keep har hard to keep track of what figure we're on so i think we're on 15 um i think there's only four more characters for us to get so we are going to get a lot of duplicates here yeah case in point another one of those harpies Pack 16, hoping for that detective. Ah, uh, that's the last of the mushroom girls. Okay. Okay, pack 17, I think. It's okay. With each duplicate we get, it just means that we're more likely to get a brand new character. Ah, uh, there's another fitness instructor. Alrighty, pack 18? I don't know. Someone's keeping track, I guess. What do we have? What do we have? A new figure, finally. All right. Here is the Sprinter minifigure, and I like this. This is probably the first time I've gotten a minifigure with the prosthetic leg mold, and the fact that this is probably the first figure to have both legs with prosthetics, that's kind of cool. Uh, I can definitely see a lot of people modding uh, this figure's legs to have for sick figs. I like it. It's cool. I do also like that it's got a little podium brick with a number one on it. Also makes me wonder if there will be other figures down the line with like a number two or number three. I don't know if like we'll bother doing that or not. We'll see. I do like this new hairpiece. I want to say it's an Afro-like hairpiece, but it's cool. It's new. But removing it, you can see it's a double-sided facial expression. And, uh, yeah, the front of the torso print, uh, removing the metal, you can see it says B-I-B-2024. Now, I'm assuming the 2024 is meant to be representing the year that this figure is released. I have no idea what B-I-B could stand for. Uh, bricks in... Bad? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below what you think BIB stands for. Anyway, let's move on to the next pack. And for anyone wondering, you do get an extra one of the metal pieces. I think this is like our 20th pack. Who do we have? Another pet groomer. Okay. Pack 20. We still got three more figures left to go. Oh, that's the last pet groomer. All right, no more extras for that one. 21st pack. Here's hoping we're getting lucky. Ooh, this one's new. It's like a video game character. Here we have the eSports Gamer uh, figure, which, yeah, okay. I can get behind the eSports Gamer figure. Only complaint is you have a colorful mouse and keyboard, but no monitor. Like, not even a monitor build could have been squeezed into this build. Like, yay, we get a trophy, but honestly, get rid of the trophy. Give me a monitor. How the heck is this esports gamer going to compete if they don't have a monitor? Like, I guess this facial expression they have on currently means that they could be playing blind? I don't know. <laughs> it's it's kind of dumb. That's my only real complaint with this. But removing all the accessories from this figure, we can have a better look at the details on the minifigure. Has a modernized black falcon torso. And uh, there is some leg printing with that falcon torso, which is really cool. And then, of course, uh, the ga the e gamer, the esports gamer is sponsored by Vita Rush. And, of course, you have the alternate facial expression. So that's pretty cool. Really cool figure overall. So... Yeah, uh, for those wondering, you do get an extra pair of those lime green headphones and an extra one of the printed mice pieces uh, included with this figure in case you lose one. But again, get rid of the trophy and include a monitor, please. And I'm really hoping, like, if we if a monitor is included in a future CMF, it's got, like, Lego Fortnite on it or something because, you know, that's a collab and that would have been perfect with this figure. Just perfect, but it is what it is. Oh, well. So cool nonetheless. Move on. Let's move on to our next pack. I've honestly lost track of what pack we're on, so this is pack number whatever. And ooh, new figure. Cool. Here is the Triceratops costume fan. This is 
a nice figure to get a year later because last year we got the T-Rex costume fan and I really hope this is like a continuous thing where they release one dinosaur character every CMF series every year. Like that's really cool. It reuses uh, the same tail piece, but in a olive green with some printing on it. Not bad. I can't complain about that. You do have some nice arm printing and a unique helmet of a Triceratops. That's really cool. But removing it, you can see the facial expression of how happy he is to be a Triceratops and just how smug he is that he's got the best Triceratops costume around. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else you could have included with this figure. It's It's really cool. Anyway, let's move on to our next pack. Okay, I think it's literally down to just the private detective is our last figure. So let's just try and speed run this. All right, we got another Olympic figure. Cool. Come on, private detective. Come on. Maybe. Maybe. Come on. Give me a reveal. Yay, we got him. So here we have the final minifigure in the series, the Film Noir Detective. Oh man, I like this. This is cool. It's got like a whole black and white color scheme going on for it. I like it. You do have a magnifying glass that actually magnifies. I love that piece. It's so cool. And then a quite literal red herring uh, with a red fish piece. Nice. Uh, dual molded printing on uh, legs there. That's not bad. Uh, you do have a construction paper fabric material piece and that goes in between the head and the torso that helps add more to the trench coat and for the first time ever i believe you get a new hat piece like a fedora i think is what it's called and uh that is very difficult to put on uh, i had i struggled putting it on but hey it is tipped downwards so he has that little mysterious look to him now if you don't know uh there was also another version of a detective given in the Lego Ninjago City Market set, which is Detective Zane. And seeing these two together is so awesome. My goodness, these are the best duo. Like, they're both trying to solve the case of something. <laughs> Anywho, yeah, let's open up the rest of the packs now that we have the full, complete series. So from this point on, there are going to be nothing but duplicates, and we're just going to see if we do get three sets of each, technically. That's what the rest of this video is going to be. So we have one more of the Gamer Girl. Then we have... Another of the Barbarian Girl. A third and final Eat Gamer Girl. Nice. A second Triceratops fan. Uh, last copy of the uh, runner. I think this one's another private detective. Nice. The film noir detective, whatever. Another one of the Vampire Knights. Another one of those harpies. Is that what it was called? I can't remember. Another, that's the final version of the knight. What are we missing? Like uh, another knight and fitness instructor and triceratops as well as a detective. Okay, that's the final fitness instructor. Which means we should just have a triceratops and detective left. Yep, there's the last Triceratops. All right, moment of truth. If, we, if a full box gives you three full sets of CMFs, because this last one should be a private detective. And we got three full sets of CMFs. Neato. Let's have a look at the paper that's included with every CMF and move on from there. So having a look at the little pamphlet that's included in every CMF, it's just a checklist for every character that is all 12 from the series. And on the back, it just tells you how to assemble each individual figure. Well, not each individual figure. It just tells you how to assemble the train kid, the vampire knight, and the... Uh, I've already forgotten the name. It's just a, such a forgettable name for me. And then, of course, you have the QR code uh, for feedback. I really wish that this QR code would count towards VIP points. But, alas, it is what it is. Yeah, you can fold it up with you if you want to take it with you. 
on the go, I guess. Uh, again, outside these used to have a purpose, but now they kind of don't with them being in boxes. So, yay, let them clever up your desk, I guess. Anywho, let's move on. Overall, for a collectible minifigures line for 2024, I think that this is a very excellent selection. The only minifigures I think that I could honestly live without that are just odd selections are the Mushroom Kid and the Winged One. I can't, I can't remember the name for it. I, I just, it's such a weird character. I just can't be bothered to remember the name for it. The rest are pretty solid overall. Uh, again, only nitpick with a figure I actually like is the gamer girl not having a monitor to play games on. It just, oh, uh, yeah. Great army building opportunities here with the vampire knight and the goat. Uh, definitely the goat is the highlight of this series. A lot of people are going to be wanting to, to uh, buy these packs just to get their hands on the goat figure. Well, myself included. So yeah, and I really like this train kid. I definitely like it. Again, wish it will come in a different color because again, green is not my favorite, but yeah. Anywho, uh, in terms of if you guys should pick up these packs, uh, I'd say they're, again, they're all solid figures. And for what you're paying, uh, they seem pretty fair nowadays. Like that's, they're, they're definitely getting your money's worth for a good majority of these. There's something more or less that's like unique. And the, the, the inclusion of dual molded legs definitely helps with adding value because dual molded legs normally come in more expensive sets and figures. So yeah, I like it. Definitely recommend picking up this series. If you're debating on it, go for it, give it a try and hope you get the figure you're looking for. Speaking of, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below of which is your favorite figure. I'd like to hear you guys' thoughts. Anyways, that concludes today's review. Please hit that like button again. If you did enjoy, it'd be very much appreciated and subscribe if you want to see more unboxings like this. Anyway, thank you everyone so much for watching and I'll see you all in a future video. Until then, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.